Hi there, welcome to Reality Check VR video. Today we're going to be looking at a watch that you can 3D print thanks to Lulzbot here. I saw it on a tweet recently that they had put out and I said that I'm going to definitely do this project. Uh, if you go to the link that they put there, they have an entire list of instructions that you can see. And the most important thing you need to do is first to update your Cura software. Make sure that you have the Cura 2 Lulzbot edition. If you look, they actually do have another edition on their website up on the top part. But no, you want the one on the bottom right, the one that says Cura 2 Lulzbot edition. Make sure you get that one. Once you update your firmware, you can just uh, go ahead and take a look at the rest of the instructions. You're going to need a few different things that are available on the Esslinger site. This is a website that sells watch parts and they are all available linked here. Um, they also have the face STL and uh, anyway, once you go to the website you can see all the pieces that you're going to need and I kind of just chose everything that they told me to other than the fact that you do get some choice on the watch hands themselves. Uh, here is of course the extender and the brads. There is the image. So here we go. Step one, we're going to print the watch face and pause it right at about 3.78 millimeters. Let's go ahead. Let's get started. I was able to purchase everything for just about $25, and it came in about three days. Alright, once we leveled our machine, we've got the print started here for the watch face. What you'll notice here is I actually started to print in clear. I actually ended up printing two different watch bases and faces in clear and black. But we're going to go ahead and show off the clear version of the face because that's the one I ended up using in the end. So once I put the glass down, I actually had it pop up a couple different times when it first went around its couple spins. Uh, as it was going, I just kind of pushed it down a, a little bit more and it ended up fixing the issue. And from that point forward, it printed perfectly. Step two, we're going to print the watch body and pause it at a height of 2.34 millimeter so we can put in these brads right here. These are some wire brads that you can get at the hardware store. First, I tried to print it in a clear, transparent version. It took me a few different tries. As you can see, the brads will pop out if you do not have it actually at the proper length. And sometimes you might have to push down to get them to go in further. Once you do get them at the right height, you'll notice when it does start to print over top of the brads, it uh, does so in such a nice little fashion, it, it makes them so that they can't pop out ever again. Once you're finished with the watch, you can go ahead and pop it right off. The problem with the clear filament is it's a little bit fragile, so even though I did do that, I wanted to print another one, so I decided to print uh, another one in black PLA. Here's me pausing it while I put the brads in. Pay attention to make sure the brads don't pop out. And here you can see they actually were timed perfectly this time. The printer is just going over each one of them. Alright, now the brads do get kind of stuck in the plastic, so when you are actually taking the watch off for the first time. When you are getting the connection pieces to bend for the very first time, you need to be very careful and make sure that you hold them firmly. But of course, the whole thing does bend properly once you get it done. So here we have the watch faces. You can design your own. I designed two different watch faces to play with. 
putting the watch together. This is very straightforward and easy to do. You'll notice that my wire extender is a little long. You actually need to cut it with some wire clippers, but I did not cut it yet just because I have not finished my complete design. I want to actually add an outside edge, so I need to uh, wait before I completely cut that off. You can see right now though the watch does spin. The hour and the hand move works perfectly. You can uh, go ahead and uh, change out the different watch faces. It's, it's very cool to be able to have a custom watch for right around, I would say, all parts and everything included, about th less than $30. The watch is fully bendable. You can make it any size that you want it to be. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Of course, like I said, I still do need to fix this little side piece over here. But uh, for now, I like the way that it looks. Other than that, I really think this project was a lot of fun. I really want to thank Lulzbot for putting the files out there and making this available. If you guys think this is a fun project, make sure you check out the links in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all in there. I, I really do think it's a pretty cool project and the people that worked on it must have uh, had some fun doing it as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next one, bye.